the task is how can I uh, create two sketches uh, as layers. I have an environment sketch, this is this one, uh, a landscape and with three circles and I want to uh, design here the uh, road along these circles and I want that this uh, red structure depends on the environment sketch. So the environment sketch is uh, a sketch with a lot of hidden geometries and so on. So what I can do is first I can create a clone of a sketch. It's not a simple clone but it's a, a new sketch depends on the basic one and this sketch can uh, be modified. So I have created such, such a structure and now I have to define the base and so I select the environment sketch and update. So and we see here the clone sketch has now all the geometries of the environment sketch inside. And a special effect is that when I change here something, it drops back to the initial position. That means all these lines are fixed. And what I can do here, I can now add some uh, new geometries this way. So I close it and I see the geometry is here and I edit the environment sketch and in this moment when I change this one then some of the environment uh, of the depending sketch is changed too. So uh, I think in most cases I do not need all the geometry of the basic uh, environment sketch so I only need some special geometry. So let's look into the environment sketch and let's say we only want to have this, this edge, this is edge number two, here this is edge number seven and this is edge number four. Okay, two, four, seven. So we create a new clone and more and say we want here the edges 2, 4 and 7 and we want to base it onto the environment sketch and we recalculate it so and we see here oh we only have 2 and 4 okay when we go inside we have exactly these two edges and these two edges are bound to the environment sketch and now we can define here some new elements this way and we can say we want we want to hide this uh, references we close it and now we see we only have this uh, visible geometry and this is the environment sketch. So when I change now the environment sketch, then the other sketch follows this geometry. So I can do this uh, multiple times. I have here another uh, clone I see here I use the edges 1, 2, 3, 12, 13, 14 and when I go into it I see there is some geometry which can be changed here this point I can move this point is uh, bound to the environment sketch here here I have the same I can move this down this point belongs to this circle so when I change here some other elements, I see I cannot change them because they are connected to the base sketch. So 
So, this way I can define multiple depending sketches on top of the environment sketch. Let's see at the end the dependency graph. So, this my clone and more object is a clone of some of the geometries of the base sketch uh, with some extra geometry added uh, after creation. If the base sketch changes, then the imported geometry here changes too, and the depending other geometry is recalculated. Here uh, in this window, we see the execution time. That means any change I made here is always calculated in less than uh, tens of a second.